Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today playing the daily challenge for June 22nd, 2023. The character The Watcher and the modifiers are specialized. Start with 5 copies of a single card. Colorless cards, colorless cards, champion rewards, and binary card rewards contain only 2 cards. That's going to be a tough combination. I see Mike here with 1232, that's pretty good though. Yeah, let's just get started and see how I can do here. Yeah, so 5 copies of follow-up. That's actually really nice. Yeah, all right. And then because I already started with duplicates, I might decide to go for the... Well, I have to go for the collector bonus, right? I, I think I will take... I think Pelts always does this. If the cards are not that great, he tries to aggressively remove them and go for hand letter. But I think these cards are actually okay because, you know, they allow me to um, gain energy. So they basically become free once I have one attack played. All right, looking at paths, there are no three elite paths, multiple two elite paths, though. So if I go on the left, I'll get one and then stick left four question mark rooms. Turn right, it's only three total. No, no, it's also four, okay. And then the right side, I'll get uh, just three crush mark rooms and two shops. So yeah, I don't think I'll do that. Let's stick on the right, on the left, I mean, and I think I'll avoid this first shop, go left. And then after that point, I can decide here if I want to turn left, crush mark room, elite, crush mark room, or elite, crush mark room, crush mark room. So let's get there first and then decide. Come. Okay. All right, so here I can do strike, follow up, another strike. Oh, I messed that up. I should have struck this one. It's fine. I thought the uh, follow-up is 7 damage, not 6. Alright, uh, not... Sorry, 8 damage, not 7. That's what I meant to say. Okay. Alright, I do need more card drawn that I have basically a bunch of zero-cost cards. Halt, evaluate. Not a huge fan, but let me take the halt, especially because I have an eruption. And yep, here I got my first curse as well as a bunch of gold. Good. All right, so um, I might have to do the Vigilance here, right? Let's do Strike, follow-up, and then um, if I do Vigilance, I can end the Defend, I can fill the Defend. Yeah, I, I have the Guardian, I don't need to lose HP. Let's fill the Defend here. Mm -hmm. And then here I can kill with Eruption, follow-up. Good. Okay. Got a Strength Potion, Signature Move. Signature Move is interesting because I can play these basically for free, right? So then it's just a matter of not drawing the Eruption or the Strikes. This might make a big difference, and I also don't really want Fasting. So let's take the Signature Move and hope I can really use it. Okay. Yeah, here, for example, I can do Follow-Up 1, Follow-Up 2, and then Signature Move. Awesome. Okay. And then any attack should kill next turn. Good. Got a Strength Potion, or another Strength Potion, I should say. Empty Fist or Empty Body. Because I picked up so many attack cards, I wonder if I should pick up a defensive card with Empty Body. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Alright, got the Lice here. Yeah, I have the Eruption. Um, eruption you, then Halt to be almost fully defended. I can kill the Backliner. And actually, I don't even need to exit Wrath, right? So let's stay in Wrath of the next turn. I'll be weakened, so I won't be able to kill this one. Unless I draw the uh, Signature move. Okay, we got an Energy Potion, Bowling Bash, Finesse. Bowling Bash is pretty good. Finesse is card draw, and I did just say I need more card draw. Yeah, fine, let's take the Finesse. Okay. All right, first I think I should upgrade the Eruption, right? Should I upgrade the Signature Room? No, let's do upgrade the Eruption first, and then I can upgrade the Signature Room afterwards. Okay. All right, got Sentries here with 9 incoming. The Vigilance alone is not enough. What can I do here? I have to do Vigilance and Defend, right? Uh, unless, let me drink. Don't want to waste a bunch of potions. Yeah, fine. Let's drink the Strength Potion and the Energy Potion, and then I can do something like Eruption, Strike. I think I should kill with the other Strike, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's do Miracle. Kill the Backliner with the Strike and the Vigilance Defend. Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This, this was always going to be a problem. Let's do Finesse. So if I do, hang on, 18, 26, yeah, even the Strength Potion is not going to be enough, right? Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do, so in retrospect, a huge waste of potions, but, you know, it was a try. Okay, so here, let's do Strike, follow-up 1, follow-up 2, and then Signature Move, okay. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure if I had gotten a little luckier with the draw, I might have been able to pick this one, but unfortunately, I didn't. All right. That Horn Cleat at the start of your second turn gained 14 block. That's nice. And yeah, I think now I'll take the Empty Fist. Okay. All right, Slaver. Yeah, let's just play all the attacks. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm fully defended, which is great. Oh, look at that. Yes, that's what happens when you pick up mostly just attack cards. All right, Panic Button, Empty Fist. I think I'll take the Panic Button. That's my favorite card. And then Oddly Smooth Stone. So I just come with the one dexterity. That's really nice. And then, yeah, well, let's 
do let's take this question mark room and then decide if I want to go left and right. There's question number two. Very nice. Um, I guess let's go left. That'll give me more opportunities to maybe gain cards or relics before the elite. Okay, so this is dangerous, but I think possibly worth it. Uh, let's do eruption. Then follow up to kill you. Follow up to kill you. And I can defend and only take two HP damage that way. Mm -hmm. And this turn I'm fully defended. So I can do follow up. Um, yeah, one, two, three. Okay. Now I just need a strike card. Actually, no, more than just a strike card. So something like stride and signature move for 60 damage. Pretty nice. Okay, cut through fader, flurry of blows. I do switch stances, but do I switch them often enough? No, no, I need more card draw. Let's take the cut through fade. Mm -hmm. That's a slime and cultist. Uh, let's do vigilance hall to be fully defended, and I'll just do a strike. I might have considered targeting the backliner, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here let's do eruption, follow up, strike. All right. Okay, I'll be weakened next turn, though. That might be a problem. Yep, lots of incoming here. I can do follow up. Hang on, this would be. Uh, 22, right? So if I do follow up Empty Fist, then I will be able to play the signature move to kill this one. I'll take 9 HP. Oh, I, that was silly. I should have fully defended with the Empty Body. Yeah, I forgot that I, I had extra energy. Got a Power Potion, uh, Blasphemy Collect. I'll try to go for Popper. Blasphemy is great, but it's not amazing, although it would allow me to get the Overkill Modifier if I play it in the same turn as Signature Move. Wait, not... Uh, hang on. No, no, no. I have to get the signature move upgraded first. I think I'll take it. Yeah, let's take it and then remove it on Act 3. Alright, Grumman Knob. Uh, let's start off with Strike, play the follow-ups, and then Vigilance. Okay. Alright, so here I am fully defended. Can I kill here? Wait, so in my hand I have 21, 27. Multiply that by 3, that's 81. That should be enough, right? Yeah, so if I do Blasphemy... Then I'll be able to just do strike, follow up one, follow up two, and follow up three for a kill. Good. All right, perfect. This one, we got Dreamcatcher. Whenever you arrest, you may add a card into your deck. Mayhem, Bowling Bash. I might still go for Popper, so I don't think I'll take the Mayhem. Let's now take the Bowling Bash. Okay. And then here, curse number three. Yes, yes. Let's take curse number three. I also got Blue Candle. I'm playing with curse cards. Can I be played? Whenever you play curse, lose one HP and exhausted. That's really nice, especially because I have those regrets that I don't really want to hang on to. So, yeah, let me now upgrade the signature move because now with the, um, while in Divinity, I can get the Overkill modifier. All right, Guardian. Uh, let's get rid of this. Then do Cut Through Fate. And then, actually, I should have drank the Strength Potion here. Yeah, right. That way I can transform this one this turn. And the next turn I'll have 14 blocks. So that way I don't have to worry about block. Okay, that's actually convenient. I can do one follow up, defend a second follow up. I don't think I'll do finesse. Do I, well, let's keep the power potion for later. I might need it later. Like this turn, for example, where I don't have any block at all. I mean, I don't know what this would have to give me. There's no power that would allow me to just defend by 16, right, from scratch. Yeah, there's nothing I can do, which is a huge bummer. I mean, should I still drink it? I mean, what could it give me that would be great? Rush down, maybe? No, no. But yeah, no, there's nothing I can do. Just got unlucky against the Guardian. Although, I guess I should say unlucky mostly because I just didn't have enough defensive cards in this whole deck. So, there's not much I could have done. Uh, so, here, let's do Strike, follow up. Then, Signature Move allows me to transform again. Good. Mm -hmm. And then another 9. I can do Vigilance, Halt. And then I play an attack like the Bowling Bash. Okay. Mm -hmm. And 16. Yeah, Finesse, Defend, I, I think I'll avoid playing uh, Dealing Damage just because I'm afraid I might lose too much HP. Another 20. So here I can do something like Eruption, Cut Through Fate. Um, signature Move is playable here, right? Once I play the Strike, and then I can do Signature Move, and that's enough to kill. Yeah, huge bummer I wasn't able to break this one. Last me Secret Technique, yeah, I think I'll safely skip this. And then here I'll go for probably Sacred Bark. Runic Pyramid is interesting. I was offered it yesterday. And um, I think Icha took it and, and thought it was pretty good. I'm not sure about it today. I do have the Cursed Candle, so I don't have to worry about the curses. Hmm. It would allow me to keep things like Blasphemy, Eruption, Vigilance for the right turns. I think I'll risk it today. The other safe option is the Sacred Bark, but let's take the Runic Pyramid. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. Yeah, I just I have to be careful with the um, 
with the signature move. But hanging on to it for later is not a bad idea. All right. Um, no three elite path. The right side only has one elite path. So I have to stick on the left. So if I go far left, it's one, two, three, four question mark rooms. And then right or uh, middle is one, two, three, four, five question mark rooms. So I'll definitely go in the middle. Okay. All right. Got the bird here. Burning bash. A burning. No, bowling bash. Bowling bash is really good. Let's start with a. Actually, I can start, start with bowling bash, right? Got one of them on the ground. Then do follow up, strike, halt. And that way I'll take one HP damage, which is fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Here I am fully defended, which is great. Um, let's bring this one to the ground because I'm fully defended otherwise. And I'll save the defense. I don't need to play them this turn. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, can I kill with Blasphemy here? I might have trouble. Yeah, I, I don't think... Well, depends on what I'll get with the Cutthroat Fade, right? Yeah, sure, let's risk it. So I'll do Blasphemy, then Cutthroat Fade to kill you. All right, there's at least one follow-up. And then a Strike to kill you. Then follow-up one, and follow-up two. Oh, okay, that was a little close, but I was able to kill. Empty Body Crush Shards. Crush Shards is really good. Actually, if I'm trying to go for Collector Bonuses, I should have probably picked up a second Empty Body, huh? Yeah, I, I clicked too quickly there. I mean, I, I think Crush Shirts is pretty good there. Ritual Dagger might be interesting because with the uh, Runic Pyramid, I can hang on to it. And I already have a, a lot of gold, so I don't think I need 100, 100 more. Let's take it. And I do have to try to use it as much as I can. Oh, boy. I mean, I kind of want to keep the Empty Fist. Let's use the Power Potion and get the Ekabiku instead. Your first attack, each combat deals 8 additional damage. That's kind of nice. Okay. I got the Sphere Guardian here. A little dangerous to enter Wrath. Let's do Finesse first. Get rid of this, okay. Yeah, I don't think I'll enter Wrath here. Let's save the Akabiku for later too. Mostly because I, I am hoping to use the Ritual Dagger, so... Okay, there's Signature move. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Then do Defend. Oh, actually, I didn't need that Defend. That was silly. Okay, fine. Let's just use the Akabiku with a Strike follow-up and, uh, and nothing else really. Okay. Okay, there's a the Ritual Dagger, so let me figure something out here. So I can do Eruption. Uh, how much is this? Okay, so then Blasphemy. Okay, so now I'm up to 45. Cutthroat Fade will bring this down to 34. Yeah, so that should be enough with the Ritual Dagger to kill. Good. Come. Okay. All right, Impatience or Blind. Impatience. I mean, do I often have no attacks in my hand? Yeah, sometimes. Let's take it. Come. Okay. And Centurion and Mystic here. Um, 12 incoming. Let's start off with a Defend Crush Joints follow-up. And see what the Impatient gives me. Okay, but actually, Ritual Dagger is not enough, right? Unfortunately not. Let's do Bowling Bash. And you know what? I'll do Panic Button, hoping that I can just kill uh, the Centurion next turn with the Ritual Dagger. And uh, yeah, I can by just doing Strike and Ritual Dagger. And then let's Strike the Backliner. Okay. All right, 10 incoming. Get rid of this, then strike, empty, f no, um, let's just follow the defend with two defense here, no reason to lose HP, okay. and then here, I think I can kill with the blasphemy by doing something like strike, follow up one, follow up two, good, okay, forethought, just lucky, definitely not forethought, just lucky is fine, it's a nice zero cost attack card, and then I have to go left, right, hmm. So next I should upgrade the Ritual Dagger that allow actually well blast my upgrade is useless now that I have Runic Pyramid, right? Yeah, let's upgrade it just to um make it grow faster. Come. Okay. Alright, slavers, no potions. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. Um Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do, right? Definitely want to get rid of this. Uh the best I mean, the most I can defend is 15. I have way more than that coming in. Let me start with the empty fist. And I'll just do Vigilance. Yeah, this this one, I, I don't know what I needed to be able to affect on turn one. Definitely more than what I had here. All right, at least I can use Ritual Dagger on the backliner together with... No, not together with Cutthroat Fate. What if I do Crush Joints U, then Ritual Dagger? It's not enough still. Okay, then, then it has to be Cutthroat Fate and then the Ritual Dagger. Okay. And then get rid of this. Do Just Lucky. Follow-up is fine. Actually, I'm fully defended that way. Good. Um, yeah, sure. Let's do Impatience. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I can do all the follow-ups. 
And that's enough to kill the backliner. Actually, I probably should have considered doing Blasphemy, right? Let me see if this gives me attack. It did not. Well, I can still fully defend with the empty body. Yeah, let's do that. And then I'll do a strike. And play the defend to free up my hand. Once I have the uh, once I have a good attack, I can play the blasphemy here. Actually, can I just kill? Yes, good. All right, didn't perfect this one though. We got duality. One of you play an attack, gain one temporary dexterity, which is nice. A fair in a bottle, which should help me in a pinch. And the protector conclude. I think conclude might be. Oh, I do have a lot of attacks. Yeah, conclude doesn't work with the signature move, right? Let's take the protect instead. Okay. Actually, upgrading that protect is not a bad idea. Um. I upgrade the panic button instead. Yeah, let's upgrade the protect first, and then I can upgrade the panic button afterwards. Okay. Yeah, I got prayer wheel, normal enemy storm, additional card reward. That's really nice. Okay, I should really start thinking about the collector bonus because uh, I don't have, I'm not close to anything at the moment. Let's start with a Kibiko crush joints, then a follow up. I think I'll just do protect here. Yeah, that allows me allows me to be fully defended. Good. Another 19. Um, there is a signature move that I could use. Hang on. So if I do... Yeah, so if I do Blast Me, I think I can kill with the signature move, right? It'll be... Uh, and also... Actually, it doesn't give me the Overkill Modifier because I don't deal... Uh, wait, no. It will give me the Overkill Modifier because it's still more than 100 unblocked attack damage. I was not counting the block here. So yeah, let's do Blast Me. Then Strike 1, Strike 2. And then Signature Move for 120. And 108 unblocked attack damage. Good. Empty body, empty fist. Okay, so yeah, let's focus on empty body here and another one, right? And then going left for two more crush mark rooms. Mm -hmm. Snake plant not being attacked. That's good. Let's do cut through fate. Get rid of this. Keep the impatience. Why not? Follow up strike. Then do impatience. And then another strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. 21. Uh, I don't think I can use ritual dagger here. Well, I definitely... Well, hang on. I could enter Wrath. Let's do Eruption. Then follow up. Uh, and then I think I'll do Miracle to play the Strike. And then... Oh, I should have done Halt first. Yeah, then Vigilance. Okay. Alright, and then here, get rid of the Regret. Empty Fist, follow up. Ritual Dagger. Yeah, well, we could. It's, it's not that powerful. I think I'll defend here. Empty body 15, I need 21, right? So, uh, yeah, this is 21. Good. Mm -hmm. Right, so this turn I'm not weakened. 26. If I do bowling bash, no, I need... Uh, yeah, actually, just lucky gets rid of the block, and then uh, the ritual dagger is enough to kill. Good. Got a gambler sprue. Protect crescendo. I think I'll take a second protect and weave prostrate. I do scry a little. Let's take the weave. I don't think I need the prostrate. Okay, curse number th four and third regret. I might get a collector bonus on the regret. So it's a bunch of gold. Mm -hmm. And then a shop. That, that was really convenient. Omniscience. Yeah, I will try to remove the, the blasphemy to go for popper. So I don't think I'll take the omniscience. Instead, let's do let's do another protect. Bowling bash. I don't think I can take conclude. So let's focus on relics. So happy fire. Every three turns, get extra energy. Ink bottle. One of you play 10 cards, draw one card. I don't think I need abacus. But I have the gold and I might get I like shiny, right? So let's take it. Um, the fear potion might help against the boss. Actually, so would the stance potion. Let's take the stance potion instead. Okay. All right. Decent shot, but i um, hoping I can get a better one on Act 3. 21. This might be rough. Let's do finesse. Well, at least I can. Uh, I have lots of defensive cards here. So if I do Vigilance and then, hang on, 20. I don't need Vigilance. I think instead I'll do Empty Body and then do Vigilance because that way I'll be fully defended and I can exit ra ex exit Calm later to gain energy that way. Um, can I use the Signature Move here? Might be difficult, but I think I'll try it. Uh, so let's do Empty Fist. Actually, I think entering... Hang on, let me do Empty Fist first. Then I think it might sense entering Wrath because then I can do Follow Up 1, Follow Up 2. Play the signature move for 80 damage, and then do empty body to exit wrath again. Okay. Also, I was able to deal a lot of damage that way. 18. Uh, yeah, if I do eruption now, and then bowling bash, and follow up. So yeah, I can't wait for the ritual dagger just because I do need to kill here. Okay. That blood valve, as the starvage combat, heal 2 HP. Pressure points, madness. Not a huge fan, but let's take the madness. Yeah, better than the pressure points for sure. Alright, last upgrade on this act. I'm not sure. Maybe the cut through fates. 
or a, another protect. Let's do another protect just to be safe. Just to make sure I have enough block on hand. Okay. All right. Collector here. I'm not being attacked. That's good. Uh, let's do madness. Cut through fate. I guess. I don't know. I, I, th I think I'll get rid of both of them because I don't really need them. Follow up. Impatience. Get rid of the regret. Finesse. And a strike, yeah. Well, let me do the defense so you see what I draw. Another strike. Okay, all right. Played a bunch of attacks. Wasn't super useful, but fine. Everything is attacking me here. I do have the ability to play the crush joints, I think, right? So signature move will kill one of the minions. And I still need some block. Let's start with follow-up. Then empty body to defend. Wait, hang on. So 1426, I'm attacked for 25 if I kill a minion. So that should be fine. I can do crush joints one of the minions and then signature move the other. Okay. All right. And then luckily backline is not attacking. Uh, I do have to defend against seven, which I should be able to. Let's get rid of the curses. Then do uh, just lucky protect this great. Follow up one. I don't want to kill here. Follow up two. Okay. And then I'll do defend and wait. All right. Okay, backliner's not attacking. Can I kill the Torchet somehow? Uh, actually, I can fully defend with the Hold, right? So I think I'll enter Wrath here. Um, yeah, let's do Eruption. Then Halt allows me to be full. Actually, let's do Follow-Up first, then Halt. Okay. And then Strike gets me close to being able to kill the other Torchet if needed. Hopefully, I don't get attacked next turn, though. Because the last one is not going to be enough, especially not if I'm weakened. Okay, luckily I'm not being attacked. There's a Ritual Dagger, though. That might be a problem. I have to defend against 10. Which I think I should be able to, right? So if I do Weave, Bowling Bash, Empty Fist, then I will have... Yeah, I'm frail, too. That's a problem. Do I want to kill them? You want... Yeah, let's, let's do Bowling Bash and then just do Empty Fist. Does make my life a little harder, but I think it's possibly worth it. I should have done Ritual Dagger, too. There's no real reason to hang on to it. All right now, everybody's attacking me, and I'm frail too. Let's get rid of the regret. Ooh, panic button is very tempting. It's not actually going to be enough, though, right? That's a problem. Hang on. So 15, 23, 38. That's not even enough. Can't enter divinity. There's not much I can do. Is there anything I can draw that might help me? Actually, I mean, getting the empty fist would uh, empty body would give me energy. I think I'll do that. Let's get rid of the blasphemy because I don't really need it here. And then I'll get rid of the unupgraded un protect. And maybe a defend as well. Okay. So now here, I can do vigilance. Empty. Actually, let me. Can I play an attack? I should definitely do the building bash first. Okay. Ritual Nagra is so close, but not quite there yet. All right. So then I'll do vigilance, empty body. Okay. I have to defend a 57. There's nothing. Well, hang on, hang on. Right, I forgot about this. So this is 43. Um, I mean, if I do a protect, that should be enough, right? Yeah, I guess I'll do halt. 46. Um, 59, yeah. Yeah, so I have to do protect and then panic button. That's my only thing I can do. There's no way I can defend next turn. And uh, I just have to hope that I'm going to attack next turn by the backliner. No, I am. Yeah, nothing I could have done here. All right, fine. So even if I can somehow kill the minions, uh, which I should be able to, let's do strike, follow up one, follow up two, ritual dagger to kill you, and then empty fist to deal damage. There's nothing I can do to defend here. Yeah, that's a bummer. And actually, if I didn't have the fear in the bottle, I would have been dead too, right? Okay. Still haven't targeted the backliner at all. Well, almost at all. All right, so uh, I think I'll try to kill the minion again, right? Wait, what if I do blast me now? Can I kill 100? So I divide this by 3. I need 72 damage. This is 40. Um, this is 54. 60, 66. Impatience might not give me. I need 74, right? Or 72, I said. I do have the impatience, but we'll have energy. So this will give me 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, I, I don't think I have enough to kill the backliner just yet. So let's not do the blasphemy just now. Let's do bowling bash, strike one, strike two. Okay. All right, backline is summoning again. Again, I can't do signature move. I should get rid of the protects at this point, right? Let's do just lucky first. Follow up is fine. Do I want to try blasphemy? 
Yeah, let's try it. I'll reload if it doesn't work out, right? Because I'm too lazy to do the calculation. So let's do Blasphemy. Then do Cut Through Fate. I don't want the Eruption. Let's grab the Follow Up. Do Follow Up, then Signature Move. 120, okay. Then see what the Impatience gives me. All right, there's a late Crush Joints, but I can use it. And then Follow Up is 31. I need four more HP damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's nothing I can do here. Uh, that's a bummer. I was very close. Let me reload it quick, mostly because I was going to die anyway. Let me reload and then I'll, I'll replay this, but I'll speed this up because I can't perfect anyway. So I think I'll try to use the Blasphemy a little sooner. Alright, I was able to perfect, I actually lost my perfect again in the same turn, just because there's nothing I could have done. But I was able to, not perfect, survive this one at least. Alright, I got a power push and sadistic nature violence, I think I'll go for Pomper here. And then Sneko, Astrolabe, or Black Star Astrolabe is interesting because I'm trying to go for a collective bonuses, but I also am trying to avoid Pomper, so I can't take another card. I think I'll take the Black Star and hope I get a bunch of uh, Elites on Act 3, so at least I'm additional Relic when defeated. A little problematic because I don't have an Energy Relic other than the Happy Flower, which is actually not that bad. All right, let's see. One, two. All right, so maybe the, uh, the Black Star wasn't really worth it because I only get two extra relics that way, but still fine. So if I go on the left, I'll get one, two, three, four, five question mark rooms. If I go on the right, I'll get one, two, three, also five question mark rooms. Interesting. If I go on the left, though, no, wait, there is no guaranteed shop either way, right? Actually, I miscalculated. Left side is six question mark rooms. Yeah, let's do left side. I still need one more curse and ideally another regret. That would give me a collector bonus. It would be funny if I have only one collector bonus, or two. One being the uh, follow-ups, and the other one being the uh, the regret. All right, 15 incoming. Let's do madness. Okay, I was hoping it would hit the protect. I think I can do something like follow-up, bowling bash, and then protect. Okay. Mm -hmm. 13 here. I think I can just do, yeah, weave. Just lucky you get the weave back. Empty fist is fine. Then do weave vigilance and um i don't think i need to play anything i can trigger the ink bottle next turn all right 16 can i use the signature move i think i should be able to right yeah oh, there's ritual dagger i have to remember to use that as well so let's do empty fist bowling bash follow up ritual dagger is not quite enough i think i'll wait because i definitely want to use the ritual dagger yeah i just need a little bit extra damage to be able to do that yeah so eruption ritual dagger is enough good Okay, got uh, Perseverance, Crush Joints. Another Crush Joints is not a bad idea here. I'll take the third eye, and yeah, let's take another Crush Joints. Okay. Ooh, I can't lose that much gold. I'm really hoping to get a shop. Can't really use 600 gold for just one relic. Let's do Strike, play the follow-ups, and then get rid of the Regret. And yeah, let's do... Okay, another Regret, and let's do Empty Fist. Okay. okay. Yeah, using Ritual Dagger here might be difficult, but I do have the uh, Runic Pyramid, right? So I can hang on to it for when I need it. Uh, let's do third eye here to get rid of this. This rest is fine. And then I can do crush joints, weave, and a strike. It's not enough to kill, but at least I am almost able to full defend. Come. Okay. Hmm. Another eight. Well, I can kill one of them now. Do I need to? Yeah, let's do that. Cut through fate, signature move is kind of nice. Let's do weave, signature move. Okay, follow-up first, then signature move. All right. And then uh, let me see if I can... Well, let's do Wrath here because then there might be a chance I might be able to kill this one next turn. Although I'm realizing now I don't have a lot of attack damage. Okay, no, might not if I have Blasphemy. Although, actually, doesn't make sense to wait for a Ritual Dagger. Not really, right? Let's do Blasphemy, Crush Joints, and then just kill. Because I already got the Oracle modifier, so there's no huge rush to wait for the, um, for the uh, Ritual Dagger there. Got a Fire Potion, Swift Strike, Rush Down. I only have one way to enter Wrath, otherwise I would have taken the rush down. It's not a bad power. Who's my final boss, by the way? Dono Deka. I mean, it gives me card draw. Let's do it. And then Fasting Consecrate. Let's take the Consecrate. Okay. And then definitely want to fight for a rare relic here. Got the two Orb Walkers. Let me check how much gold I got. Last time I fight, fought them, I only got one gold, which seems like not intended. Um, I'll keep the Ritual Dagger here. I think I'll do Strike, follow up, see what I get. 
Cut through fate, okay. Let's do cut through fate. Empty body, I can't do it with the vigilance. I mean, I'll, I'll still take it. And 30 incoming. Ritual dagger is not enough. I mean, I could do panic button and just have to worry about it next turn. Fine, let's do panic button. Come. Mm -hmm. Alright, I have 14 block here. That's good. Let's do crush joints. Follow up and then ritual dagger is enough to kill this one. Good. Then follow up again. I should have done the crush joints first. That was a mistake. At least I'm fully defended here though. This is why I like panic button so much. Alright, 16. Let's do rush down first. Yep, then madness. See what I get. Alright, get rid of this and then do signature move for 60 damage. And then impatience. Okay. Strike just lucky. Get rid of this. And then I'm actually going to take some damage unless I play the empty body. Come. Okay. And then 24. I should be able to kill here easily, right? Good. Alright, got Captain's Wheel. Let the serve your third turn. Gain 18 block. Very good. Empty fist, flurry of blows. I had more than one. No, I just have one empty fist. Let's still take a second one. Might be able to get a collector bonus that way. All right. That gives me enough curses for the curse modifier and a bunch of gold. Yeah, I have to risk it. All right. And then I really would like a shop. There's no guaranteed shop after this point anyway, right? Yeah, fine. Let's turn left. Really hope one of the question mark rooms gives me a shop. Yep. All right. So start off with rush down, cut through fate. I don't have anything better with Akibiko, right? Yeah, let's do cut through fate. Uh, protect empty body. Let's get rid of both of them. All right, ritual dagger. That doesn't help me. Uh, well, it, I can't get it upgraded, but would allow me to at least kill something. Yeah, I think I have to kill the backliner, right? Just to be safe. All right. And then let's do impatience. Get rid of this. Okay. All right. Reptomancer is not attacking. That's good. Follow up is useless. So I think I'll save it for later instead. Actually, I pull it defender. It's not a good hand. Let's do third eye to curate my next hand. I will need some block. Let's get rid of these th four. Actually, I'll get rid of everything here. Yeah, I think I'll play one card just to free up my hand. And then hoping that I can defend next turn. Alright, so Bowling Bash is enough to kill the backliner. Yeah, let's do that. Then we follow up. Um, strike is not enough. Empty Fist is though, okay. And then I need to defend against 26, which I can with just a regular defend, right? Yeah, the duality is actually helping me quite a bit here. Okay. 30. Uh, get rid of the normality. Uh, let's see. Is there... Uh, I mean, I have panic button. Can I defend without the panic button, though? I just have the two empty bodies, which uh, I will need a lot of decks to be able to use them. I think I'll do eruption, then follow... Oh, madness is great. Then follow up. I just have to hope I don't draw the normality. 1 in 13 chance to do that. Um... And then I think I'll do a strike here. Okay, no normality. So now it's 12 plus 15, which is 27. And the finesse, that's enough, right? Yeah. So let's do empty body, empty body, and then finesse. Beautiful. Okay. And I still have the panic button for an emergency. Get rid of the... No, actually, let's do crush joints first, then get rid of the regret. Then I'll do empty... Uh, Actually, wait. Yeah, if I do blast me here, I can do empty fist. Oh no, I messed that up. I completely messed that up. Let me see if I can salvage it by doing something like Miracle, Panic Button, and no, no, no. Yeah, I had to. I have to reload this one. I, I, sh I, I had enough damage, but I had to do the Empty Fist first, then do the, um, well, yeah, I, I wouldn't be in Divinity. Let me reload this quick. Well, hang on. Let, let's try this again, because I was perfecting it, right? So I'm going to try to play the same way as I did before. So I think I targeted the Frontliner here. I got rid of both of these. Then did Follow-Up, Strike. Then Ritual Dagger. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, that was a shame. I should have played the Impatience last turn, too. Okay, get rid of this. Do the Impatience. Um, and then I think I kept the f uh, the uh, follow-up, right? Get rid of everything here. Okay. So far, so good. And then I play one defend. Right, alright. Two, three, up my hand. Come. Okay. So, here I did... Uh, let me make sure I plan this right. So, Bowling Bash kills you. Then I can do a free follow-up, a weave, and empty fist to kill you, okay? And then the empty body was enough to be full... Actually, no, the defend was enough to be fully defended. All right, let's defend, get rid of this, okay? Mm -hmm. 30, get rid of the normality, and now I know that I'm not going to draw another one, so let's do eruption, follow-up. I should have done madness first, that hit the empty body, okay? 
consecrate. Did I do a strike? I think I did because then I can do empty body one, two, and then finesse. Great, great. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, this is the crucial turn here, right? So let's do crush joints. Wait, uh, hang on. So if I do crush, blasphemy crush joints, then the signature move is going to be enough to kill. I don't want to do empty body, empty fist. So blasphemy crush joints and then signature move 480 damage. Oh no, did I mess up again? I keep forgetting that I can't play it. I can't play the signature move without playing the empty fist first. So there's only 60 damage. Okay, wait, hang on. Panic button, get rid of this, and still didn't get it. Okay, fine, let's use the fire push, and I don't want to replay this again. All right, got a regal pillow. Whenever you rest, you additional 15 HP and juju base of normal enemy combats are normally encountered in crush mark rooms, which increases the chance of getting a shop slightly. Crush joints or protect. I think I had three protects, didn't I? Yeah, let's get a collective arms and protect. Come. All right, got the jaw worms here. Okay, get rid of the regret. Third eye. Um, actually, all of these are pretty good. Probably, well, yeah, yeah, let's keep all of them. Can I defend without the uh, panic button? I don't think so, so let's just do panic button here. Come. Hope I don't get attacked. Or at least if I get attacked, I can kill whoever is attacking me next turn. Yeah, because I have the uh, bombing bash. That's enough to kill one of them. And then I can do consecrate. Uh, let's do strike and signature move. Again, again, just another reason why I love panic button so much. Come. Yeah, I'm fully defended. Let's do Miracle, Crush Joints, Follow Up, Strike. And then I think I'll do Empty Body and another Crush Joints, mostly because now nah, I'm just going to wait for the Ritual Dagger to show up. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. Got a Blessing of the Forge, Windmill Strike, Enlightenment. Not a huge fan. Cut through Fate, a second Cut through Fate, I'll take it. Enlightenment would make all the Protects cheaper. Might be worth it. Let's take it, sure. Windmill Strike would help with the Overcome Modifier, but I already got it, and I already had the Ritual Dagger anyway. All right, 30 incoming. Let's just do Just Lucky. And then follow up. Strike Bowling Bash. And let's do Third Eye just for good measure. Get rid of the Normality. And I probably don't need the Protect. This Probably don't need the Strikes either. Let's get rid of everything here. Come. Okay. 40. Let's do Rush Down Madness. Cut through fate gives me get rid of the curse. Signature move is good. Allows me to be fully defended here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 50. Um, let's do a free follow-up. I'll get rid of the regret. Consecrate empty fist. I might need to defend here. Actually, yeah, let's just do let's do the empty body here. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, 16 coming. It's gonna get harder. Strike bowling bash. Um, all right, I need to come up with 43 block. That is a lot. So I think I'll do empty body, defend one, defend two. And then miracle, defend three. That way I only lose five HP here and I can use the panic button next turn. Wow, I actually will have to use the panic button this turn. Uh, let's do the enlightenment. That actually does help. Then do empty fist, follow up. Halt, and then play everything here, right? Protect one, protect two, and then panic button. Beautiful, okay. Okay. All right, we got a strength potion, pressure points, halt. Let's take another halt here and study bowling bash. I'll take a bowling bash. Study might allow me to get the combo modifier, but I think at this point I should focus on collective bonuses. We got Art of War. If you don't apply any attacks during your turn, get additional energy next turn. And then going this way for three more question mark rooms, really hoping for one shop. Otherwise, I'll, I'll lose the popper modifier too, right? So here I think I'll do eruption. Let's do empty fist, eruption, consecrate. And, um, yeah, sure, might as well make the empty body cheap. Come. Okay. 45 incoming. Um, so let's do weave just lucky. Okay. Weave again. Then I have halt for a bunch of block third eye to curate my... Actually, that way I'm fully defended already, right? Yeah, yeah, so I don't even need to... Well, I should still exit wrath. Um, do I want to do vigilance... Yeah, let's save the empty body for later. Come. Okay. All right. And then here I can do rush down, bowling bash, follow up, bowling bash again. And that's it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think my deck is lacking damage card cards ultimately. That is a big problem. Let's do a free follow up. Get rid of the regret. And another regret. Okay. And then let's do... I think that's 45 this time. Um, 
I think I'll do Miracle Crush. No, I don't want to do Crush Joints. Let's still hang on. Let's do Empty Body. That'll give me energy. No, I think if I do Miracle, then Crush Joints, then do Empty Body, I should be able to come up with a block, right? I have five energy. So another Empty Body has 20. That's 35. Yeah, so if I do 35, 43. Yeah, the other Protect allows me to be fully defended here. Come. Okay. Right, still not being attacked. Good. Crush Joints, Cut Through Fate. Uh, there's a Blast Me and a Ritual Dagger. Yeah, I think I can kill with both, right? Weave. And then Ritual Dagger. Yeah, with Blast Me is enough to kill. Good. Okay, we got Lantern, Surge Combat with additional energy, as well as a Bag Operation at the Surge Combat. Draw two additional cards. Very nice. And Entropic Brew, which I'll take over the Blessing of the Forge. And then another Cutthroat Fate. Okay, that was actually a really good, a really good set of rewards there. Oof. I can't lose the Protect, right? Because I just got a Collector Burns on that. Between restaurant, actually, I can lose one follow up. Yeah, I have I have five follow ups, so one of them is uh, fine to lose. All right, I think. Well, hang on, let me see. Vigilance upgrade might be nice. I think I should upgrade the panic button, especially against the Nodeka. Yeah, panic button might be really useful. Let's get it upgraded. Come. All right. Give me a shot, please. Nope. I might get. Well, I'm not sure if I need my plus here. Dark shackles is pretty good. Master of strategy is pretty good. Enlightenment, I already have that. Yeah, let's take Dark Shackles here. Here, I'll take Finesse, a second one. And here, I'll reluctantly take another Enlightenment. Please give me a shot. Nope. No, nothing I could have done. I can get a seventh curse, though, if I really want to. I mean, I can also... Yeah, sure, let's take two Madnesses. Why not? It's a bummer. I'm unable to remove the Blasphemy. I mean, it did help me perfect a few things, so I'm, I'm you know, not upset I took it. What should I upgrade next? Maybe another Protect. Yeah, let's upgrade another Protect. All right, at least I have, a, I have a good set of potions here. All right, 20 incoming. Get rid of the normality and the doubt. Then drink this. Study devotion or master reality. I think devotion is probably better. It might be very hard to get the combo if I will study. So let's do the devotion. Drink this and this. And then I think I'll save the flex potion for later. Drink this as well, though. Come. So let's start with uh, devotion. Actually, can I defend here? Hmm. Well, let's do Devotion first. Then do Weave. Follow up. Then Signature Move. A lot of damage, okay. Then, uh... Let's see, 15. I need a bunch more. Let's see what the Attack Potion gives me. Talk to the Hand, Cut Through Fate, Ragnarok. Cut Through Fate is pretty good. Okay. Consecrate is nice, too. Wait, wait, can I? I need, so this is, I need five, four more attacks. So this is th three more, two more. No, I think I have to get the empty body. Yeah, let's play it safe. Okay. And then, um, let's do third eye. All right. And then I'll do, uh, I'll do empty body. Might as well do weave. And I think it's going to be hard to use the dark shackles, so let's just play it now. Okay. Hmm. 26. I have 14 already. Uh, let's do Crush Joints, follow up, Bowling. No, not Bowling Bash. Uh, cut through Fate first. Finesse is good. I probably don't need the Impatience. Alright. One Finesse is enough, right? Uh, no, 22. Well, I think I have to do both either way. Actually, I could do Hold, but no, let's keep the Hold for later. And then I can do Bowling Bash as well. Okay, not bad. I have a bunch of Protects now, so those should help me. 26. Uh, so a free follow-up for sure. But I think I'll do Madness to hit a defend. Uh, yeah, one defend is enough. Well, let's keep the halt for later, but I think I'll also play the unupgraded protect just to free up my hand to make sure. Actually, I should have done Madness. Yeah, let's do this. That way I can draw a full hand next turn. Okay. Alright, 32. I am able to get rid of the, the last normality, right? So let's do that. Then Madness. It hits the protect. Good. All right, let's see. So 32. Let me see what I draw first. Um, this is only 27, right? This will be 32. Empty body and protect. Let's do that. Okay. And then cut through fate. Ritual dagger that I won't be able to use this turn. But that's fine. Weave. I'll also play the enlightenment just to uh, avoid having it in my hand. All right, get rid of the regret. Do rush down. Okay. And then 32 incoming. This is going to be rough. Um, yeah, I have 29. 
I need to play a few more. Actually, I have to defend a small, right? Fine, let's do defend, empty body, mirror, and protect. Come. Hmm. Barely dealing any damage. I still haven't gotten to my blast me. Oh, never mind. I'm in divinity now. So let's drink the flex potion here. Then do bowling bash. Cut through fate. Okay. Probably don't. Actually, I would like to keep the panic button. I would also like to kill with the strike, right? So let's do that. Then do follow up. Strike one. Strike two. And a ritual dagger for enough to kill. Okay. I was able to perfect this last boss fight, but um, no chance against the Act 2 1 and Act 1 1. I got a little unlucky. 1207 is not that great, I think. So out of the six elites, I perfected four. I did get curses, had a lot of curses offered. Um, but yeah, and got only two collector bonuses, which is a shame, admittedly. The one collector bonus I got in addition to the follow ups already protects, right? So I think I was close to a few more. I had three building bashes, three cut through fates, three empty bodies, and I could have gotten a fourth one if I took it. Um, I think those are the ones I was most close with. Yeah, the others I had mostly just two copies, or I got them very late. Um, and then I did get a raining money. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get for, to go for Popper. Now, if I had known that I wouldn't be able to remove that Blasphemy, I might have considered taking the Omniscience, although I don't think it would have really fit this deck, and I can't really remember any other good rare card that was offered. I mean, there were some offered, right? I could have taken them. I was really hoping to get a final shop here. That didn't happen. If I had gotten that, I might have, who knows, I might have been able, well, I wouldn't have not have been able to get the Alex Shining modifier, but I might have been able to at least get a few more collective bonuses or, well, at least get the Palmer modifier, right? So those 50 points, I think I definitely lost. Now, I'm not too upset about that because without the Blasphemy, I would not have been able to perfect as many bosses as I did. Wow, I'm 13th. That is very surprising. I mean, yeah, Mike got only 25 points more than me. I suspect that means a lot of people had trouble perfecting anything. Huh. Yeah, all right, so you can end up... I mean, it is a little early in the day than I usually play, but I guess you can perfect everything by just... Or you can get a top 20 finish by just uh, perfecting one boss. All right, let's reload with the Friends mod to review the scores from yesterday. All right, so yesterday was a defect run with the Insanity, Vintage, and Terminal modifiers. And uh, so yesterday, a lot of people... Well, I think everybody got the Wing Boots very early on, and it was interesting to see how people maximize it. But let's go through the score first. So you had Panda here with 1675, 12th place. That's a very impressive score, and I'm pretty sure everything above that cannot be legit. So congratulations to Panda for probably just doing everything, right? Then you have Mike here with 1573, Pels got 1570, Pels was able to perfect almost everything, uh, was one of the people who went for, who used the wing boot charges at the very end on Act 3, and as a result was able to get 10 elites, and the uh, I, th I think two extra elites on Act 3 uh, gave you more points as well, so that definitely helped with uh, with Pels' high score. Uh, only got three collector bonuses, didn't take the bites, uh, Pels thought that the bites might clog up the deck, which he was definitely right, I think they did clog up the deck, and those 25 points might have not been worth it. And then Pelts went for a traditional sort of turtle deck with the defect where you have Frozen Core and Inserter to just gain a lot of Frost Orbs. And um, I unfortunately was trying to do that, but I feel like I never got enough focus and never was able to gain enough Frost Orbs quickly enough. But still, Pelts did really well, so congratulations in 31st place. Then you have 34th, Warpal with 1563. Warpal is also able to protect everything, um, also used the Wingmood Chargers uh, three times on Act 3, but at the very end decided to jump to a shop, not another Elite, hoping to get more collective bonus but um, Warpal said that that wasn't worth it. Um, so yeah, that's something to keep in mind. I think Malzan did the same thing and didn't decide to jump to the shop and, and Malzan thought if maybe it was worth it, but no, Warpal confirmed that that last shop was not really worth it. Then you have Rado here with 1558. Hobo with 1543, PGM 14, 1542, and David tied with 1542 as well. David perfected all nine elites, didn't d use the same jumps as I did, which is one jump on Act 2 and two uh, jumps on Act 3. Um, was able to affect all the bosses, got five collective bonuses just like me, w went for Popper, and also was able to get Overkill. You can check out his Twitch and YouTube streams on the uh, in the comments on the video uh, from yesterday. And then you have Malzan with 1520. Malzan perfected nine of the ten elites. Was uh yeah, just like Vorpal saved the uh jumps for Act 3, used that last jump to go for the elite, not a shop, and um was able to get three collectibles, which I think is decent, and also went a defect turtle deck, uh just like Pelts did. Um now interestingly, Malzan bottled the double energy, which is interesting. I bottled the skim, so I went for card draw, Malzan went for energy, and then also didn't take the bites, which um yeah, I also agree that they they helped probably perfect things and also lost a bit on time so theoretically another 50 points would have been possible on top of Malzahn's score. You have Goldbear with 1518. Goldberry maximized regular fights instead of question mark rooms, which is reasonable given that it was a vintage run yesterday. Perfected almost everything, but still only got three collector bonuses, but still pretty good score. 
Then Ichu here with 1516. Uh, Ichu perfected nine of the elites, uh, got all the bosses, uh, went for a different strategy, went for a reprogram deck, and ended up with four collector bonuses, um, was able to get popper, and also was able to play in less than 45 minutes, but missed the overkill modifier. Also took a different set of boss relics. But yeah, that's a pretty good score there. Definitely better than mine. You have Flignicum with 1493, very upset with 1491, very upset, perfected all of the 10 elites that he took, got two of the three bosses, five collector bonuses, which is really impressive, Popper, and then uh, also took the energy boss relics like Fusion Hammer, which definitely helped. And uh, High Octane Dopamine with 1461, Steven just barely making it top 100 with 1453. I think that's it for the top 100. You have Alex with 1436. If I jump forward to my score, 244th place, 1336. A little disappointing. I perfected eight of the nine elites, um, missed one of the wing boots, uh, one of the elites on Act 3 because of bad usage of wing boots. Um, none of the bosses. Got five collector bonuses, Mr. Machine. I guess my use of wing boots did allow me to get Mr. Machine, which some people didn't weren't able to get. And I was able to get Overkill but not Popper. I went for, uh, sorry, Overkill but not Combo. I did go for Popper. And then Anthracite mentioned that I could have easily perfected the Act 1 boss. There was uh, a turn where I thought I would not be able to defend, so I didn't play defensive cards, but I had enough Frost Orbs, would have allowed me to defend that way, and uh, I just missed that. And then also missing the top 100 is Micronex with 1228. Uh, Micronex perfected 6 Elite, just like me, none of the bosses though. 5 Collector Bonuses, and uh, Micronex said that he was sick of Terminal, and I sort of agree, so hoping to not see Terminal for some time. Anyway, that's it for yesterday. Let me know in the comments what you did for today. Very interesting that I have such a high score with only one perfected boss. So uh, let me know if you had any trouble with the bosses. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.